emotional conviction. That's where you're at. You got to be able to convince yourself how you are making this amount of money because you are the one that's stopping it. All right. A week ago, I made a video telling you the whole idea of how can you be out of your way? And it didn't come to me that I don't know really how transformative this week was. I told you this is going to be a documented process and you're watching that transformation within one week. You can go back to the past week video, the patience lesson, and you can understand that this is insane. It doesn't even have that many views. And it was up until one thing that I didn't take care of or understand for the longest period of my life. But this is it. I'm sharing it with you guys. And that thing is, I did not believe that I can achieve a certain income. I, like I said last week, I was doing all these BS jobs, gas station, server. And when you're such a high performing individual, you are not going to be clashing or resonating with people who's way beyond their means. I didn't know that I am worth a lot more until a lot of people in every place I work was would immediately come and say, what are you doing here, bro? Yeah, but, but why are you here though? You know, like what is going on? Why are you still here? And that didn't click into my head until if I ask you a question right now, if you're making a $50,000 business and if I told you, can you make $100,000 next month? If you're making 50K a month and if I challenged that belief and I told you, can you make 100 grand next month? Probably would be like, well, I'm comfortable with 50. I'm not sure I can double it. Maybe I can run more ads. Maybe I can do some other stuff that I'm not supposed to do. Or you're not really fully in there, bro. You're not in there. You do not believe you can achieve that frequency of whatever you want to achieve. You do not allow yourself. You're standing before yourself and your financial income or goal. I was like this for 35 years. I only had four days ago, I convinced myself I'm worthy of 20 to 30K a month. And guess what happened, brother? Miracles. Miracles happen. What happened is I got a job as a pharmacist intern. I got a job to make actually a lot more. I'm having more connections with business. I'm having a lot more that I would expect in just four days. And this is the topic for this video. How the fuck did we change from where we were to where we at right now? And that is because I convinced myself that I'm worthy of that amount. So simple tricks, nothing is simple, but my experience towards it, because I listened and I read over 800 books. I had this app where you can listen to books summarized and I would do three or four days for like the past seven years. I want to tell you after all from Marcus Aurelius meditations to Dr. Joe Dispenza to the people in the fitness industry, you are trying, let's see, you're trying to go through this better human being or like your ultimate potential or which we all deserve by the way and we're all like granted that but you're trying to get that by one avenue uh, i'm gonna get in shape but most of you get in shape and then they lose the weight and then they gain it back again why because it's not there i'm gonna make money you start a business and most don't succeed any small business that is not a surprise follow statistics you know you start to make money, you doubt it, you go like blow out drugs and do all that, and then you lose it. Because your mind, that self-destructive ability that is always limiting you, that fucking ceiling that you're having for yourself, 
It's you. You are the one that's stopping this. And I was like disappointed, man. You can hear that. I was disappointed when I heard it was my own freaking mind, dude. It was me the whole fucking time. It wasn't anybody else. I couldn't blame anybody. I couldn't blame organizations. I couldn't blame the government. I couldn't blame my coworkers. I couldn't, I couldn't blame anybody. It was me. I was the one that's causing that. And within four days, four days, man, it changed. It is magic. I went to, know, know, to, to try to know who the heck I am by uh, human design, which actually was very helpful. We're gonna go, we're gonna dive deep on this. So this is a daily thing from now on, guys. The lesson for the day, before you work out, before you have a, you know what to eat, which I'll tell Haley got, because I, this is my abilities. Now I, now I can know how you can be in the best physical shape. Now I know from my experience how to heal your gut and you may keep you on a sustainable, body and shape and physical ability and have health and now i know that muscle is the longevity which is all body right i know about the body i i knock down that bitch i know what's inside it i know how to manipulate it i know how to heal it i know how to flare it i don't know big gotta get small how to get cut dude that's have been my toy for 20 years i'm a pharmacist nobody would experience on himself i'm like that mad scientist more than me so body out of the way, and I was still not getting my goal, right? And then after that, mind, which is this realm that we're in, this lab that I just tapped into, it was like, oh my God, it's all just preconceived beliefs of who the fuck I was or what society told me. Oh, bro, in order to make money, when you have like a DUI or something, just got to put your head down, work my stupid jobs, and shows like, who the fuck said that? You don't need to believe people around you, bro. It's bullshit. They would never, they speak from their own capabilities. You are not, we all have different potential. And the main thing, you are not the fucking same. What I could do, this dude couldn't do. And with some people, what they could do, I would never be able to do. And that's how we're all like interchangeably, like have to live with each other to thrive. That's the point of fucking life, dude. We have to collaborate. You can't make anything by yourself. Money, love, family, community, not by yourself, bro. So we all excel in different areas, but the main thing I'm trying to talk about this, what is your emotional recognition to believe who the fuck you are and what are you worth? What is your worth? In my whole life, I thought I'm not worthy of any amount. I thought I was supposed to get my bills paid and I was content and that's it. And I would try to live within my means. I never looked up. I always believed that there was a ceiling on me. I put that on myself. Nobody else. Now, in four days, I convinced myself I'm making 30K a month. And within four days, I got a better job that pays double than what the both two jobs. Remember the last video? I was doing two jobs, homie, from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. and from 4 to 11 p.m. And repeat. And repeat. Doing 70, 100 hours is like, okay, so it's not really physical. The more I put in, the less I get back. Remember what I told you, how 33 works, how master teachers work? We're not supposed to work with our physical hand because that is counterproductive. Once I convinced myself that this is it, the mental process that I deserve that. Now you're going to tell me, oh, okay, so that's easy. It's like, no, I, I wish it was that easy for you, man. But I'm trying to give you tools and leads, and I try to help you with, with whatever I can through this. But, guys, you know that you would never have this body. You would never have this without somebody, without the process, without somebody, the application. You need to follow a step-by-step -step process. How did I go through my mindset? I'll give you helpful tips that helped me, that make me through that. It's like, why the hell was I questioning that I could make a certain amount or that I could be limited 
to our potential or I could be having this BS or I have to be in a place that everybody is because when you go to any workplace when you're overwhelmingly overworking outdoing better than anybody around you people start asking you like why the fuck are you here bro you know and when they can't compete you know what they do they start to bitch ass complain they start to ignore you they start to, start to attack like little bitches bro it's like oh that's not really harassment that's insecurity that's what i didn't understand this wasn't my place this wasn't my being i wasn't fulfilling my truth I started having knee aches in my left knee. And if you know anything about spirituality and any of that stuff, that is your soul because your soul is the right, the emotional one, and it controls the left side of your body. I was not believing it. And I sat down as the question is like, so what the fuck would it take? Why would I work 16 to 18 hours a day and I'm still wasn't making any financial means? What the fuck is the point of this? What? And then when I convinced myself that this is not how I should think about myself, this is how shouldn't I put limit, I should know my own worth from the work I put in, from the belief, and from the system. Now, manipulation. Let's go through this. How to convince yourself you're worth 30K a month. Number one, you got to believe that you are making 30K a month. Number two, so when you're in that position, the universe is like, oh, okay, so you think you're making 30K a month, bitch? All right, let's test that motherfucker. The universe or, or God or whatever, or the frequency, because your frequency is higher now than anybody around you and everybody around you is making 3 to 4K a month and it's like, that's the average you know, human being here in America, and I like, it's, it is what it is, but they're in that frequency. So, okay, you're going to get a lot of challenges. So what happens, the trick that I found is you go back as the watcher and you respond, you do not react. So in my work, one of my coworkers told me, <laughs> this little bitch ass boy, it's like, you do whatever the fuck I want you to do, bro. You, you do whatever the fuck I want you to do. Now, I don't want to, like, express my feeling in violence and probably make him lose his jar or, you know, make him a handicap. So, I understood, and I want to thank this guy because I understood that your enemies show you lessons. His whole point in this journey in my life and working that stupid job in my way of awareness is I shouldn't let my circumstances at all complete what I feel. So I'm watching it and responding from a place of love. I know it's very hard to take because we're all attached to this ego and we think if we're somebody, but let's, let's just be real. 100% of the time, you're not in a threat. If somebody talking shit about you, if somebody making fun of you, some, you're not going to die. That's where the reaction of like being aggressive or emotional or anything coming from. That's what I figured it out. So I'm trying to tell you, when most people talk shit about him, the only thing you can take the power from them, which is actually more manipulation, is laugh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at him. He's just cussing at me. Should I be scared now? Ooh, oh, that drive him crazy. You know, that's how it is. <laughs> you got to face that BS in the face. I'm not giving you energy because everything sucks on your emotional energy. You need that intact and you need that directed inside you. 30K a month, motherfuckers. Yes, sir. No, I don't give a fuck. Good luck. That's how it is. Oh, shit is, uh, okay, I don't give a fuck. I have some, uh, <laughs> some ladies, when I, in my job as a server, she poured four times the salt into the meal to get extra fries, a uh, different kind of like, <laughs> see, I'm laughing at it because it's just so pathetic. Different kind of Caesar salad. And like, she just poured it four times. Like, dude, I'll give her the salt and she would like, Come back, it's like, oh, the salt, 
fell on all my food and the salt shaker like was spread it across all my fucking food. Ah, oh, look at this. There is so much salt. You know, and I was like, it was hilarious. And and and, and it's just and I was like, oh my god, okay, Lord, I'm here in this position for a reason. You know, and the reason for me was I'm not supposed to <laughs> react, which is funny. If you look at, if that's what I'm saying, if you take that ego, which is ah, oh, she's she's trying to do this to get free food or not tip because it's just I got fuck, bro. I'm gonna go back and watch. And when you go back and watch where everything is coming from, where your thoughts is coming from, where your action is coming from, where you as a potential coming from. And you just look back and it's like, well, with no, objectively, it is hilarious. Like, if I'm telling you this story, you're probably laughing at it. When you have some lady just dropping all the salt four times, man. It's not a coincidence, you know, across all their food to get more free food. It is hilarious, though. It is like the, 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 it is like the stupidest thing you can do. Like, just tell me you want more fries. It's like, I got fuck. You didn't need to do that. So the whole idea is I needed to learn. And this is what I was going through to detach from this emotional reaction. I need to keep my emotion out of love, out of peace, out of... So abundance and the highest... So we go with the highest frequency in joy and we go above that is enlightenment. What is enlightenment? It is you, bro. Enlightenment is you are mentally being yourself. This is me being me. In four days, I had more clients. I don't want to say numbers because I, I, I don't want to do any of that shit. I had more num I had more clients, which is, if you look at the video though, it's not that many people watched it, right? But I had so much message on Instagram. A lot of people wanted to like work with me, want to get it. Bro, we're going to direct that into be the watcher in whatever is going on and do not invest your emotion, do not care, you're safe all the time. That is number one. That is the trick number one that guided me to convince myself that I'm doing over 30K a month, okay? Trick number two, which should be number one, you know, is I have a lot of gratitude. Again, that's so cliche, but let me put it in details because that's going to be a lot of relatable thing for you guys. I, like I said, I'm safe. I'm not worried about whatever is going around me. I'm not investing emotionally because I know what I'm worth, right? And I have a lot of gratitude where I'm coming from. So what is the gratitude? Why, why I'm in that place of joy, peace, the higher frequency, bro. We only go on the high levels. Why am I at that place? Why? What is different? I ask a better question. Why not? You're able-bodied. You have eyesight. I have been, should have been dead like multiple times. I'm a wild kid. I've been like in a surgery table over seven times. Like this accident that you see, I'm going to put the CAT scan over here. I shouldn't be alive by seven neurosurgeons, you know? I get through the levels of knowledge and education and life is trying to teach me, you should always be grateful. So how to be grateful? I know you guys like the practical steps. So number one, I'm watching and objectively, everything is fucking hilarious if you think about it. Like that lady with the salt, like that server dude who just was like, you do whatever the fuck I want you to do, bro. I was like, oh, I'm scared. See, objectively, it's hilarious. But when you put yourself, it's like, oh, how are you talking like that to me, man? Oh, yeah, fuck you. Up. No, that's a stupid mentality. No, you go back, <laughs> you laugh at that bitch, you know? So go back. Objectively, everything is fucking hilarious. And that's actually part of life because you're supposed to enjoy the experience. You're not supposed to be into it because you're that fucking spirit in that vessel. This is not the thing. Don't identify with that. Identify with that. You are watching this. Okay? And number two. Every day when I woke up and I slept for the last four days, I've been like saying, 
Thank you, Lord, for solving all my financial issue. Thank you for giving me or for making me able to make 30K a month. In the morning and at night, probably all day, it was like my mantra. Thank you. Thank you for making me 30K a month. Thank you. Because to most people, I'm one of you guys. I was working at a gas station on a server. Like this is mentality from the grounds up. And God put me through this because this is what I'm supposed to do from the grounds up. So from the grounds up, you got to work on your mentality. I'm worth 30K, right? How? By not investing in negative emotion or circumstances around you. I'm taking a space back between what is going on and I'm watching. Objectively, this fucking shit is hilarious, okay? That people cut you over and shit like that. Do not invest emotion into that. Invest it in yourself. Your emotional manifesto energy is the, the greatest thing you got. Do not let anything suck emotion. Just laugh. Number two, which is supposed to be number one, interchangeably. Have a mantra. Thank you so much for resolving. Thank you so much, Lord, for making me 30K a month. Thank you so much for making me 30K a month. Thank you, Lord, for making me 30 k a month. Thank you, Lord, for making me 30K a month. Thank you for solving all my issues, financial issues, and making me make 30K a month. Thank you for making me make 30K a month. Thank you for solving all my financial issues and making me make 30K a month. Thank you for solving all my financial issues and making 30K a month. Now we're going to come to the third step. What is the third step? After thank you for solving my financial issues and making me 30K a month. The third step would be the excitement that you know when you were going on like a school trip and you're gone on like they were going to like Disney World or Disneyland or whatever or like there's a field day in the school and you know you're like or your family's taking you to like amusement park right as a kid I remember that we all had that show like they're going to a beach or summer vacation we all had that guys so or most of us so that day that you knew you're going to do something that you're going to enjoy the shit out of it. What did you do? You had your like clothes prepared. You had your shoes shined. You had like everything is ready. I'm going to wake up, get into my clothes, and I'm ready to go having my cereals. I'm having a blast because I know today is a very good day because I'm doing something I'm excited about. And... Usually when you do the first two that you figured out that your financial issues all solved and number one, you're not in face thing, emotion. I, I'm laughing at this because I was the worst at this. I was the one to easily get angry and frustrated and fucking like fed up and want to like, you know, jump on some people. You know, I'm a, I'm, I'm a, a guy who like take his violence outside. So I... Obviously, I didn't, but that's usually the normal way of my expression. So I tried to direct that, which is very hard for people like us to be inside. I'm going back. I don't give a fuck. I'm laughing at you. I know you're never a threat. And if you're a threat, you know what? I'm going to deal with you either or, bro. <laughs> so you can say whatever you want over me. I'm just going to watch because this shit is hilarious. You're just talking from insecurity. You're just feeling you small or whatever it is. Usually they're acting like, imagine the soul, the, your soul is so big and massive. You have a massive fucking soul. Like it's huge. And then you have in this tiny ass vessel that we live in. And that's who you think you are. Imagine you talk, talking to a fucking ant and it's threatening you. How the fuck is that not hilarious? But the stupid thing is that you think you're going to threaten and compete with the ant. Bro, it's a fucking ant. There is no threat to you at all. Do you understand now? You have to push yourself out of that like, I'm not a fucking ant. I'm a bigger than this. We have a God's eye. I'm better than what they're going through. I'm going to take a step back and I'm going to laugh at this because I'm looking at everything objectively. That is joy immediately. Number two, P, 
peace, enlightenment, whatever your financial goal, just start thanking the Lord for making it for you. You'll thank the universe. Bro, thank yourself, man. It's all the same thing. You just got to wake up out of that. Thank you. I'm going back and I'm laughing at this BS. And number two, thank you so much for solving all my issues, financial issues. Thank you so much for making me 30K a month. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for solving my issues. Thank you for making 30K a month. Thank you. Like, if you do nothing but this, you're amazing, you know? And that it would be a form of practical gratitude, right? And then number three would be the excitement that comes after one and two, after you do not invest any bad emotion. You're very grateful. You're aligning yourself. Number three going to be the action. We usually have that switched. We have work, 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 and nothing happened because it is always mental, spiritual, thank you, and then last thing is physical and is like minute, it's like 5%. So 95% is mentality and 5% is action. It's weird, I know. It's weird. I, I thought it was the other way around, I, you know, but, but it's not. The more you work, and how many of us have had parents do two jobs, do so much because they love us and they want to give us a beautiful life. But at the end of the day, we're always under financial stress. We're always like messed up. We're always going to like this, uh, you know, this life like it's a fucking death. <laughs> it is true. I lived it. Most of us have lived it unless like you're one of the five percenters and you're like a baby daddy, baby boy, whatever. Uh, so whatever it is, whatever the kids with the trust fund, please, um, you're going to get back to you later because I have a rich kid problem, which going to talk about it later, which doesn't allow me that I'm worth whatever I'm worth uh, that I'm deserve or I own because I put a ceiling on my own. So number one, number one, detach and look at the people in front of you as they are ants when they try to threaten you try to make fun of you just look at it objectively and laugh it's hilarious you know it's all fun and games until this happens until someone touch you and then like it's it's king kong motherfucker you know so that's how it is but that never happens that's what i'm trying to tell you like 100 percent of the time nobody ever got the guts to do that especially touch a guy that looks like me so in my mind it's like fuck that that is not an ls <laughs> That is not an option. So I maybe when I was a kid, I got bullied. But that's a trauma that I dealt with right now. That's what I'm telling you. I don't have to be talking from the end perspective, right? So number two, great gratitude, which got to elevate your soul, is like, thank you for making me 30K a month. Or for you, thank you for making me $2 million instead of $50,000. You got to challenge that belief. If you didn't challenge that belief, if you're not going up, so the universe works in spirals. If you're not going up, you're going to go down. And once you reach a level of 50, 50, 50, 50,50 you're either going to go up or you're going to go, the other story going to go down or you're going to go up. You're not going to stay at 50 for the rest of your fucking life. You're not going to stay at 50K. You're not going to make $2 million a month for the rest of your life. It's either going to be more or it's going to be less. And that's how it is. Matches your frequency. So you're bending the fucking universe, the matrix, or what do you guys want to call it, or whatever people are programmed to do. It's like, I got to work hard to make money and do weed and drink alcohol to just numb my mind and be like, ah. it's like, I'm a donkey, man, in a donkey world, you know? It's just, you think, that because the donkey, is the, hard, the donkey is the hardest worker. So you're not a donkey, and you're not in a donkey world, bro. You're a very special creation of God. You are the universe. It's in you. It's you. You're the most sophisticated machine creation ever. Even the devil is jealous of you, you stu <laughs> stupid fuck. <laughs> I mean, like, what do you think, bro? Why do you think we're so special? Because we're so special. You got to believe it. But when you think it's more work, less mentality, less energy, less attitude, less less like inside more outside the more like you become like our parents working two jobs for 30 years and never making enough and barely like oh, make this job to get this or get this load it's like fuck that fuck that i'm not existing in that that's what i've been taught but that's not what i'm living anymore and that's what i'm teaching you number one it's not control your emotion it's directed inside which is this is the most precious thing i have 
The only thing, the fear, the hate, the guilt, oh, I'm not going to be able to pay my bills. Oh, I'm not going to be able to feed my kids. Oh, I'm not going to be able to do this or that is like, no, baby girl, we're going to go back. We're going to stay in that watcher. This shit is hilarious. Okay, I'm taking the trash out of the I'm taking the trash out of the gas station. Guys, that was a week ago. I just figured that is how recently I'm trying to con include you with this transformation and document it as much as I could because not, like guys, focus. I directed all that fear, that shame, that guilt, that pain, that energy into myself. When it get inside, I was like, oh, oh, the word is massive. I don't have to panic. I don't have to wait about anything. I have to, like, you know, do any whatever, you know what I'm talking about? So with that being said, I was able to take a step back and watch my thoughts, the strain of thoughts, because thoughts is a field, get from the back and watch what's going on. Uh, I'm feeling afraid because I think this and think that it can do anything to me that it's not me. So out of me, not, does nothing happen. Everything happens from me. So I'm not giving this and any of my energy because if you think it is, most of them are energy suckers. Everybody around you is like, oh, bro, like, what up, bitch? You know, it's like they're trying to like, but they don't, you know, all that stupid shit. But you're trying to understand that ants, if an ants were threatening you, how fucking hilarious that would be. That's how it is. Number one. Number two, gratitude. How to practice gratitude. Attach it to a financial goal or a, something you want to achieve really, really good. Like the thing that spite fire in your heart. And put that and thank the universe that you already have it and have and walk, talk, act like you had that. Like you have that thing that you badly wanted, walk, talk, act like you have it. Feel it. Thank the thank you. Thank you. That is grateful. Being a grateful is only what the universe rewards you. You're not gonna be rewarded if you're like look at life as a desperate ass bitch. I'm telling you, man. Thank you. Number three, after you took your energy back, you, you're watching and you're watching this hilarious creation. And number, so you have all your energy back, the emotion. You're prompting it up, which is, you know, gratitude. You're grateful. You're thankful. You're being so content about what God gave you, and happy. That the wish is already fulfilled and you're living from this. Then comes number three. After all that excitement and intentional directed energy that is coming inside of you. Because you're not wasting it on, uh, on vices. You're not wasting it on living in the past, being depressed or being worried about the future and anxiety. Which is mostly fear, guilt, shame. and You know, what is it? It's either you're thinking about the future or you only got this moment, bro. And this moment, I'm telling you, you should be very grateful and thank, live from the point that whatever your choice is, happens. And now after you have one and two, after you take your energy back, you're not wasting it. You look at this word as a watcher from the background. You look at it and you watch uh, because it's fucking hilarious. I'm going to keep repeating that because it is. Because the ego is hilarious if you think about it. The, the ego is a vessel. You're not supposed to mess people around. It's all good until somebody does this. But other than that, bro, it never happens. So that's done. Number two, thank you for fulfilling my wish. Whatever it is you want. 30K a month, starting your own business. So after you block all that energy and direct it inside you, after you prompted it up, with peace and joy which is gratitude then you're going to come to the enlightenment which is your true etheric signature in the universe and when you think about it the thing that make you the most excited is your true purpose you know what you're supposed to do your conscious is the voice of god always telling you bro you gotta like you know work out you got to lose that weight. You got to eat clean. Like, for real, like how many times do we all have to say, if you just ate 
uh, meat, fish, chicken, uh, meat, fish, eggs and chicken, and fruits and vegetables. Don't drink milk, don't drink any other thing except tea, water, and coffee. You're going to lose a lot of weight from 10 to 60 pounds very fast, and you're going to be able to sustain it. Just avoid processed food, coffee, tea, and, and water, you know, meat, eggs, fish, you know, fruits and vegetables, no rice, no pasta, no carne, you know, meat, eggs, fish, and fruits and vegetables for drinks, coffee, tea, and water. That is not really a restrictive diet, does it? But if you already, if your intuition is telling you to do that and cut the processed food, then you're going to be in a better place. You know what you're supposed to do. You know you're supposed to hit that guy. You're supposed to talk to that whatever. You know. So after you have your energy back, after you prompt it back with gratitude, then take all that energy that you have left and it's going to be fired up to go through your purpose. And that directed energy toward your purpose, it's like the fucking dart shot that never misses. Like bullseye, bullseye, bullseye. You take that as like... You're like walking between people. It's like... And after you're doing it for some point, you start to vibrate higher. And people's like, how you did this, bro? Oh, how you... Oh, how? Why are you better? It's like, because I'm not a bitch. Because I don't waste my energy on emotional bullshit, petty ass motherfucking shit. Because I don't waste it on fucking alcohol. Because I don't waste it on drugs. Because I don't waste it on bitches. Because I don't waste it on nagging ass people. Because I'm not a gossip bitch. Because I'm not wasting on an ant. I'm watching this hilarious creation because that's my point of existing. What do you think the point of existence is, bro? To enjoy that process. So watch it like a laugh, you know? He's just like, okay, you know, then you do whatever the fuck I want. He's like, ooh, I'm so scared now. It's so funny, dude. Can't you understand it? Can you understand, bro? Guys, I love you so much. I am taking you on this grounds up journey to the way up together. And I'm already... In, in a way better place than last video and this is that's what I'm told you it's gonna be like very meteoric change meteoric change in this episodes and I'm gonna leave you with this number one we said patience in the last one and why because you know the wish fulfilled number in this episode the thing would be emotional conviction that's where you at you gotta be able to convince yourself how you are making this amount of money because you are the one that's stopping it number two would be the practical steps thinking and acting and living from a place where you're actually think that that wish is fulfilled and number three after one and two is, is established you're going to have that energy rising up and you're going to be able to go like vibe like so fast to your goal. I love you so much. Reach me out on Instagram. I love everybody from YouTube. I'm not going to even say like this is my third account. Uh, get shadow banned on YouTube and <laughs> sorry on TikTok and other stuff. So reach me. I'm trying to build this channel. I'm like this channel. I'm working from a place that I have a million subscribers. I'm not working from a place that I have 700 or 800, I don't remember. But I don't look from this place right now. I'm working from a place that I have a million subscribers. If someone had a million subscribers, what would they do? They would give a very valuable, practical, hilarious, engaging, sexy-ass comment, sexy-ass sexy -ass content that is so valuable that people do not understand it's like, dude, I, you saved my life without even working with you, and that is what I want for you. God bless you. Take these steps and runs. Let's go. Let's do this together, guys. See you in the next one.